Hey everybody! I hope that worked properly. Yeah. We've now got the intro so we can play it straight from StreamYard. Yeah. I tried messing around with my video camera, see if I can plug my video camera into the uh, my computer as well so we get yeah. a better picture. But I mean, until I am... Um, Unless anyone wants to donate some some money to the uh, BioVidCam uh, fund, we just have to settle for the VidCam that we've got at the moment. But it does annoy me having this VidCam at low quality like this. But you can't you use do? a webcam. It's no. a totally different thing. Yeah, no, it's just a built-in cam. I haven't yeah. got. I was, I was wondering if I could plug in my normal video camera. It's got a good picture to this, so it's got a better picture. But no, it's not a possibility. Is it not? Uh, no, it didn't seem. To, uh, I couldn't work out if it was. I plugged it. Yeah. I, I connected it, but it didn't sort of. Didn't do anything. Right. <laughs> right. But anyway, we're here to drink yeah. beer. We're not here to. Uh, this is not so a camera. Exactly. This is not a tank. No. Yeah. Because we yeah. don't know. Which, which is lucky. It's not a tank. No. Yeah. Exactly. We wouldn't have a clue. So we're just going to drink beer. Yeah. Talk about the beer. We don't know about that either. But we like. No. Drinking. Exactly. We know we like drinking yeah. beer, and that's good enough for us. So we're yeah. going to drink beer. And it's get Belgium. Drunk, and let's just go for the nearest one then. This is the first one that we took out of the box as well. Steenbrugger Blonde. Whoa. Enriched with spices, it says. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's, let's read up about this. Yeah. Steenbrugger Blonde is a blonde top fermentation Abbey beer with a warm, full flavour and notes of clove and cinnamon. Mm. The fruity, slightly herbal fermentation aroma combines perfectly with the typical herbal mixture that lends the beer its unique and wonderful flavour. Let's be pouring it. I was supposed to be pouring it. I'm just... Yeah, <laughs> so it's a... Steenhuffle. I need a bottle. Yeah, you need a bottle, haven't you? Steenhuffle is the name of the uh, brewery. It's 6.8, 6 6.5%. Uh, style is Blonde Abbey. Every great beer has a story. Every story has a hero. The hero of this beer is Saint, Ar Saint Arnoldus, the patron saint of beer brewers. He would have saved many lives in the dark ages by encouraging his parishioners to drink beer instead of polluted water. What a hero. Oh, These yeah. that not only gave him his holiness, but also a beer that was especially created in his honour. The secret of the Abbey beer, Steenbrugger, is its own spice mixture, Groot, which gives the beer its delicious taste. A recipe that has been continued according to tradition since the Middle Ages. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I was having a look at that. It's yeah. tiny, isn't it? Oh, like, yeah. It's the same yeah, as what yeah, you yeah, I'll read, read the cat bottle out first. Can you actually read it? Can you, can Just about. It but say, it's the same. It's, it's the, the same. same. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right, so we've got uh, smooth of three, uh, hoppy and malty of three as well, fruit of two and a half, uh, bitter of two, and floral of one. How strong is it? Uh, 6.5. 6.5, yeah. I see it on there. No. Um, yeah, I, I forgot, actually. Um, uh, Zuri and... Uh, Aaron and all that, they all went to Bruges oh, in, right. in Belgium. Recently. Right? And no, nah, this was a few years ago. And oh, uh, right. yeah, they uh, had a lot of beer. Yeah, they, they love, they love, like, especially yeah. Sue, loves all that sort of wheat, yeah. Belgian type beer. Hey, werewolf. Lovely. <laughs> don't suppose yeah. you're drinking any Bishop's Fanny. <laughs> no Bishop Fanny today, mate. I don't think Bishop's Fanny. It's Bishop's Finger. Yeah, she's I've never around. I never, I <laughs> never heard of Bishop's Fanny. Yeah, anyway. but uh, yeah, not a bad looking. Cheers yellowy kind of nice head but um yeah i've got high hopes for this box, yeah actually yeah um, it could be a bit more dark beer but yeah shouldn't be too yeah, bad yeah but i though. think it's not it's, it's, beer is i've got quality. a feeling it's not going to be the sort no, of hoppy no stuff. it's not going to be horrible hoppy stuff yeah yeah and it isn't it's like it's a wheat beer <laughs> which is uh what you get with the, the belgians oh yeah it's kind of nutty. Also, it feels uh, nutty to me, like a little nutty kind of texture. But you've got it's got a bit of cinnamon and the um, the, it's ever yeah, so slightly spices, spicy. Yeah, I've got a feeling so I'll, 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 I'll uh, famous mm. last words, but I've got a feeling they'll probably be out. I'll be out to drink more. I'd be surprised if there's any milk. Yeah, animals. I can't imagine the Belgians doing that. It right? didn't look like there's any milk stouts yeah. there. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to drink mm. all of them. This is a nice one. This be a first, actually. This is quite nice. Yeah. For, yeah. a, for a lighter one, you oh. know, it's like a little hint of, like you say, cinnamon or whatever, a little hint of spider room, really delicate. Yeah, it stops it from being bland. Oh, so, yeah. Sometimes these, these lighter beers have got hardly any flavor to them, even very yeah, hoppy. Sounds, oh, yeah. It just to me, a lot of the light ones just taste like wet, it's like water, but like yeah. a little hint of fizz and a little hint of like uh, funny, you know. But this is because like a nice little nice beer. spicy yeah. little uh, note to number, it. yeah. Um. Most of the Belgian beers are usually pretty strong as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And most of them are, I think, it's good. I think it's a 4.5 4. Oh. or so. Mm. But most of them are a few fives, a few sixes. Yeah. No super strong ones, though. No, no, no nines, nines or, or 10, 11s yeah. or anything. No. 
Not that sort of anyway. But Delirium Tremens and, and a few others are around the nine percent. Oh yeah. But I like them though. They're still really nice. We had one called Head Cannon or Head Cannon. Head we Cannon. went there once. That was in, in Netherlands. Oh. That was eleven percent. Me and Grant got absolutely wasted on it. I bet. But then, you know, <laughs> then you know, we got home. When we got back to the pub the next day. The bar the next day, our coats were still there from the night before. Oh, we'd wow. fucking gone home and left our coats <laughs> hanging up on the bloody wall coat <laughs> hook. And it was like, oh, Jesus Christ. We didn't even realize. No. We didn't even, we didn't even realize. Dodging out the keys exactly. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. I don't know. And yeah. the, the, the people at the bar were laughing. Like, and we thought, oh, fuck me. What did we get up to last night? They were fucking all laughing at us. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those English. Yeah. They fucking, yeah. yeah fucking English idiots. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite as um. I remember the last couple of times we've had beers for beer guys. It's been like our, our first beer in like a month or so, or a few weeks, hasn't it? Yeah. But well, we had a few on Friday night, didn't we? So it's not like like you know we, we started last doing night. that now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I had um the heavy metal hangouts. Yeah, heavy metal yeah. hangouts. I had um. I mean, uh, the, we got the uh, Stones mini market around the corner. That's all the uh, yeah, some nice those beers. beers. So I had the Tiny Rebel, which we drank a lot. Yeah, mm. and then uh, Stout. I can't remember what it was called. It was nice though. Uh, Colonel. Oh. All right. Rebels, Rebels talking nonsense again. <laughs> Can you do a video? Favorite pizza uh, menus put through your letterbox. You don't get them so much anymore, do you? Pizza menus for the letterbox. Not like you used to, because it's all like just eat now, isn't it? And really well. Um, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Everyone can order it through Just Eat. And what's the yes, other one? Don't we have a no drunk mail sign? Okay, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. But yeah, we, so we, every now and again, we will get a pizza menu, but not very often. Oh. I think it's only Pizza Hut that does it now. There used to be quite a lot of smaller pizza well, before around, I, but I don't see. If... Before I um, um, obviously went vegan, mm. back in Meat Feast, I was a Meat Feast guy mm. um, when that's it comes to I pizza. Think. That's what I have as well. Yeah. All of the meat face, all of it. Yeah, it was nice. Every animal you can imagine. Yeah, I know. I think. Mm. Yeah, decent. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Let's just go and grab the next one. Oh, oh well, you got to give it a score. I would say. Oh, yeah. uh, a three and a half for me. I'll go three. Yeah. 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 Not bad at all. Like, if there was no. like. I'd have another pint. Yeah. yeah. Several, right? Yeah. Have a snack, so. Just after that, I could have done a, a bottle of that. I think it's quite nice. Mm. Pretty pleasant. I only wear all for lunch. I used to collect pizza menus. <laughs> okay. We gotta have a hobby, mate. Yeah. We gotta have a hobby. Yeah. Uh, won't judge. No. This is Avans dry hopped. Hmm. Five point five. And what was it called? Kvik, Kvik. Kvik IPA. Um, oh, wow, dry hops with Asaka, Galaxy, and Sabro. Yeah. Uh, let's have a Simcoe. Five point. Five yeah, there's not much information. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, it's an IPA. High attenuation fermentation results in a dry but smooth brew. This beer packs in four grains barley, oats, wheat, rye, and plenty of hops aroma. From Azako, Simco, and Sabro. It's got quite hoppy. Hoppy of four, yeah. smooth of four, malty, fruit, and bitter of three. One of sweet and one of floral, it says. This might be a return to what we're uh, yeah. not a big fan of. It may well be, yeah. Um, not a lot of info uh, already. No, it's quite one. quite low yeah. on the info. Low on the info. Yeah. High on the hops, low on the info. Yeah. Obviously, I haven't got an awful lot I mean, to say about it. Yeah, it is that type of beer. But low Christie, it says. Low, low. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, um, Low Christie must be the name of the town where it's, where it's brewed uh, out. Right. I think so. Low Christie, isn't it? Low Christie. Ah, uh, okay. Up in the little thing here. And I was like, is that the name of the company? No, I think Avand is the name of the company. So, yeah, Low Christie must be the name of the area that it's from. Looking at the rest of them. I'm guessing it is, anyway. Yeah. It looks fucking horrible, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't look like it. It's the, the kind of it's cloudy, nice. high, hot, hoppy kind of. Yeah. Smell is quite nice. Though. Yeah, a little fruitiness. Yeah, obviously probably from the Simcoe or something like that. Yeah, the hops give it a little fruity nose. Well, uh, well, with the snack that came with it, show the snack that came with it. Oh, yeah. was, you want some? Oh, it's not bad. We, we ate them already. We ate them before we started. Yeah, Ooh. we had some uh, some multi seed sesame pretzels. We did, and now it's gone and got some ribbon spicy knickknacks because you know it's all good. It's all good. Oh. 
the, the first taste is nice, and then the aftertaste is a little bit funny. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. It's quite nice and creamy. Ooh. You're like, oh, and then like the aftertaste is kind of quite quite bitter, isn't it? Yeah, quite, quite sour. It's well, not sour, no, but bitter. Yeah. Yeah. But not in a nice kind of bitter mm. way. It's like, oh. Yeah. It's not quite sucking this, a lemon. I don't dislike it. No, but, it's all right. Yeah. It's just that weird little twangy kind of feel at the end. Mm. But it doesn't linger too long. But I get feeling yeah. like by the time you get, you know, the more you flavor. drink, I think the more you drink, the more it's going to linger. It's got yeah. that kind of like a fruity kind of feel to it, but like yeah. too twangy. I quite like the sort of initial taste of it, but like it, 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 it does taste more like a fruit juice again, though, doesn't it? Almost. Yeah. Mm. It's weird. Yeah. It's like a, maybe a grapefruity one, but not. Yeah. Like, it hasn't got like the real kind of lingering like grapefruit bitterness. Yeah. But it has got a like, smooth and hoppy. Yeah, but yeah. it's got hardly any sweet to it, so it hasn't really. Mm. <sighs> maybe it's bit it's kind of a weird kind of bit in this though isn't it the f- mm. it's funny it's not like a really like prolonged aftertaste it kind of like it's just mm. kind of rather than flavor it doesn't feel like flavor to me it just feels like mouth feels, it's weird, it's our, our feels like, sort just, of just like judge <laughs> yeah. yeah rather than actually a real i mean would you yeah, say it's got a real nice. fruity flavor or you just that you, you mm. feel like as if your mouth's been affected by the acidity of fruit but actually without any taste of fruit well, it's just it's just free on the fruit, so yeah, yeah, maybe there is some. Yeah, I sort of quite like it, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> it's a, it's yeah. a weird one, isn't it? It is. I think it's one that the more you drink it, the more you're going to dislike it. Mm. I think personally, because I'm already starting thinking it's already feels like it's accumulating, and I'm getting to feel a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, the more I drink, you know, starting to make my eyes start going. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I want to score this really. I'll probably go two and a half with this one. Oh, yeah. No, I think I can only go one. One, yeah. 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 I suppose it's you, not it's getting less enjoyable yeah. like you say as you go on. Yeah. And it hasn't really got a nice fruity flavour really either, I don't think. It's just like it's, it's uh, Yeah, I'm starting to think of that. Yeah, it's just it's just Yeah. It's the kind of thing like when they make beers like this, obviously some people like it, otherwise they won't carry on well, making them. But to me it's kind of like I, I the sort masses of, seem to like it. Yeah. I drink a beer like this and I think to myself, why can they make beer like this? Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? It makes me think. Why make it taste like a fruit juice with, with that? Yeah, bitter. but, like, but not weird. like a nice fruit juice. Like, it's exactly yeah. like, a, like a, a weird kind of aftertasty kind of. Yeah. You know, not even a nicer. I mean, I like when I drink, if I drink some pear juice or some apple juice and you can feel like mm. the nice kind of crisp, cleany kind of fruity taste on your Yeah. On your, this was just kind of like a, a sharpness. It's just like it tastes like drinking. You know, when you think, oh, that's quite sharp. Yeah. That's what I kind of think of this. So it's kind of a mixture of bitter and sour. Yeah. Like. Good point, Werewolf. Mm. Good point. Mm. I, I think um, <laughs> things, there are some tropical ones I like, like, uh, like the yeah. um, Howling Hops in, in Hackney. Their tropical beer really nice. And I thought, is it just because I'm there and I'm yeah. drunk? So I bought one at the uh, shop around the corner. I had it. Still, it. still it. really liked it. So, yeah. so it's not always the case with me that I, I dislike the fruity, hoppy no. ones. You know, it's just uh, I don't I don't hate it. I would say no, it, no. But, but it's just like the initial taste is quite nice. Yeah, but, well, I don't know if it's even got a nice yeah. nice taste. It's kind of like mm. I don't know, it's quite just smooth at the start. But yeah, now I sort of like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fruitiness isn't yeah. like what you think of as a nice kind of fruitiness. That's, yeah. all, I, that's all I'm saying about it. I mean, I can, to be honest, I kind of picture myself. I went to a pub and this was all ever selling. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I, would, I, would, I definitely wouldn't do more than one. I'd be like, oh, is that what you've got? That's fucking stupid. Why haven't yeah. you got anything decent? It's interesting because uh, your missus, when you did that show, mm. I, I because she's more of a lager drinker, mm. I thought she would like these ones, but she, she doesn't. No, that's she right. doesn't either, does no, she? That's yeah. Weird, that's weird, isn't it? yeah. She preferred the dark one as well. Yeah. Even though she never drinks 
bitter when we go to the pub. He's always lager girl. Yeah. Lager out. You know the South London. Lager that's South London. You know them South Londoners. They're all bloody lager house, aren't they? <laughs> That, that blinking werewolf by lunchtime. Bloody <laughs> lager out. All right, you've got another IPA. Trunk by lunchtime, more like. Trunk by lunchtime, yeah. Uh, Belgium IPA. Yeah. 100 units uh, like water barley hops yeast. All right. No info. Belgium here. IPA. It's a wacky old can. Oh, that yeah. can up again. It looks like, it is, isn't it? It looks like a Jackson Pollock or something. Some, yeah. some crazy, like a, a brewery lecker. 5%. Oh, it just says Blue Ridge Lecker Belgian beer for modern times. <coughs> oh, that bloody last one. I've got the burp going. Yeah, I've got a okay. this. Is going to be similar. Tasting notes. Smells like a walk through a Belgian hop field. Brewed with a neutral yeast strain with East Kent Goldings, Merkur, oh, Kent Grun, Bell, and Challenger, providing herby and spicy hop aromas. 50% pale ale and 50% Munich malt. Actually, a lot of English uh, mm. hops then. But that's quite interesting, yeah, actually. Yeah. That doesn't look too bad. It's like a, yeah. it's like a slightly darker right. one, isn't it? Yeah, well, it says fifty percent no. unique malt. I yeah. think I'm quite keen on a bit of malt. There was one I used to drink in uh, Holland called Palm, which is like a, a, a brown, they had a, they had a clear, or light, a light one, oh, yeah. and like a brown kind of version of it. And that wasn't too bad. It kind of reminds me in the colour of that one. Yeah. So hoppy is four, which might not be too good. Bitter, smooth, and malty are free. So it's got hoppy and it's got a bit more wheat. Yeah. Two for fruit and sweet and one for floral. No, it's for zero for... Not a lot of smell? smell going on, actually. I really like that can, though. That is, that like is a can. wheat, yeah. yeah. I like... I don't think beer should no. like that, though. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like a beer yeah. can. And also, I was I was wanting to query, what is the difference between a walk through a, a hop field in another country than a walk through a hop field in Belgium? Well, especially when they said like that, Belgium especially hop the hops are from uh, yeah. England as East well. Yeah, Goldings. Yeah. Like a walk through a Belgian hop field. That's, that's yeah. a weird thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> it smells very sweet. And it tastes quite sweet. What's, what's the sweet on it? Uh, two. Okay, okay. Not getting massive mm. hot or massive twang. No. I think the maltiness is kind of taken yeah. away from the hoppiness. Yeah. It's, um, it hasn't got big flavours. I would there's put no, the no sweet up flavors. another notch. Do I reckon? think it's more, more of a three or four it's sweet. sweet. Yeah. yeah, it's quite... Now my initial taste mm. is quite sweet. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's it's yeah. It's way way better than the last one. Yeah, it hasn't the last one was just like yeah. a weird little twangy all the way down, wasn't it? Mm. It's got a very slight kind of little twang to it. Nice colour. Mm. It's not massively flavoured either, is it? No, but but it's, but it's yeah. nice, nicely done though. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm. It's not bad, but then equally, it's not it's not good. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's just kind yeah. of it's kind of like middle of the road ish actually. Yeah. It's um kind of like um not unpleasant necessarily, but mm. not um not much of anything. Yeah. It's just got a slight little to it, and that's all you can say really. I wouldn't uh, yeah. even classify it or clarify it. I wouldn't say it's very hoppy. It doesn't feel like it's very hoppy, does it? It doesn't feel like a four hoppy to me. It but... doesn't, doesn't feel like I'm walking through a hop field in oh. Belgium. Oh. Hmm. Um, it's more like a yeah, hop field in Slovakia to me. Oh, right. Yeah, it's more like a hop field in um, uh, Bratislava. <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, why not? <laughs> if they can make up shit, I can make up shit. You know, come on. It's like a hop field in, <laughs> yeah. in Mozambique. Exactly. It's yeah. very much like a, a hop field in Mozambique. Yeah. I thought the same thing. The very first, all the hops being yeah. shot by, 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 by the army. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not even drunk yet. Am I? Yeah, your words, your words do not back up that uh, that, that uh, oh. statement. I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm quite surprised they never notched up the old sweet thing because I think it's got. I'm not like, finding like, it super sweet. Not super sweet, but like it's it's definitely one of the sweeter ones. Uh, I just wonder sometimes if like it's like a certain taste no that makes it feel like it's sweet yeah or makes it feel like it's this or like that you know i don't know but <laughs> i heard my name uh, um, all right no worries uh, yeah it's all right 
We were just saying how lovely people from South London were. Mm. That's basically what we were saying. Salt of the earth, mate. Yeah, salt of the earth. Salt, yeah. Watch your back, you'll see how much we were. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the way, Werewolf, let us know if we're the opposite way around than normal, because obviously <laughs> Graham's always on the left. Yeah. I'm always on the right since day one. We've yeah. never changed it. But this stream yard has swapped us round there. I just wonder if it's the same on the yeah. other end. But it's really, it really looks yeah. the same. It's really weird. It's kind it of, is weird. It's kind of might blow my mind. Yeah. I have walked the wrong way to the fridge, Jimmy. If I look at this too much, I'll start walking over there. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> I'm lost. lost in my you own turn, the, turn left. So you're turning. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the know, screen. It's weird. It's easy to blow the minds of two drunken fat men in a yeah. kitchen in London. Yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say. Yeah, it's not one that I'd reach in for an beer though. You know? It's not not really. It's not bad. Yeah. But they were like if you just popped in for a beer, I wouldn't beer, kick it out of bed. No, but yeah. would you equally go, oh, I could drink this all night? Or, mm, or we just be like, you know, maybe I mean? not, maybe not. I mean, it wouldn't, if I was going out, if I was going out, like I was arranged to go out with someone, and we were going to be out for the night, and this is what was available. Okay, I could probably keep a few pints of it. Yeah. But like, if I was just nipping in for a quick one at lunchtime myself, it wouldn't make me want to stay for another. Yeah. People are like, oh, okay, I've had a beer now. I'm fucking off home. Yeah, yeah that's that's the way I look at it. I'm still going to score it a free though, because I I don't mind it actually. Mm. Mm. I don't agree with your score, system, Eric. Because that one was that's right. patently better. And, and you've only three scored and a half. five. Only, three and uh, half. only a five better. Yeah, point five better you've scored it. It's a good point. Yeah, that I mean, was a lot better yeah, than so, what we've had. Yeah, All yeah. right, two and a half. Two yeah, and yeah, half. Yeah, and maybe I'll we'll have to put that down to two then. Because that maybe, Yeah, that yeah, good. exactly, yeah. I'm sorry to I know, it's, more... it's, it's hard to judge yeah. it, I know, but it's hardly making a fucking difference. Yeah. Ray's on my right as I'm watching. Eric's on D's left as she's watching. That's even more confusing. Is that confusing? Ray's on my right. Yeah, no, he, I watching. think he's been deliberately uh, yeah. confusing there. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> can I blow their minds anymore? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. We'd have to know where left as she's we'd have to know where D's sitting and uh, yeah. and Darren's yeah. sitting for us to understand exactly what that means. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna drink another beer. You may have flummoxed us with your with your tomfoolery, Mister Werewolf, but uh, but you know, you yeah, I... your guts loudly. No, oh, no, that was that was, that oh, was oh, 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 okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know me. I don't score. Below two and a half, don't score uh, like above three. I don't know, I don't know. Mr. Middle I'm of the mis Road. Mr. Sitting on the fence. Mm. Um, but no, you're no, probably no. right. Maybe yeah. a two and a half, actually. Yeah. Whereas I oh, used to... What did I score? I'll, I'll give it a two. Yeah. Because it's like, I'm kind of mm. the same. I think it was... I'd, I'd stay for more... Than one of the, the other one that we didn't like, the, the other IPA, yeah. which was like too much twang all the way. This one was kind of like not not overblowing the twang, not not brilliant, not yeah. really like pushing my buttons, but not horrible. Yeah. Oh, we got yeah. a stout. Oh, stout, Eric. <laughs> the Brussels stout. The Brussels stout. Yeah. Brussels yeah. de la Cine. Not saying. Uh, Brussels, um, five percent stout Eric, Belgian dry stout. It's not stout Elric, it's stout Eric, yeah. Um, all <laughs> without the sediment. Um, <laughs> she used to the left of me upstairs and Grace to the right of me, but I am down under, yeah. Uh, that's even more confusing, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfiltered, um, dark craft beer, uh, re fermented in the bottle. Oh. oh, so it's one of the live beers. Mm. It's alive. Um, ingredients: water, malted barley, malted, malted barley again for some reason. That's a bit weird. Hops, fermented sugar, and yeast. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Tasty notes. Yeah. Stout Eric Hello. is a classic dry stout according to the Irish tradition. Easy to drink but with a well marked character. Its colour is deep black with ruby reflections. Yeah. Roasted notes define its personality. Balanced in the mouth by a touch of coffee and a velvety tone. A discreet, refined bitterness completes its structure with a dry and surprisingly refreshing finale. Not a lot in the wheel. No. 
four malty, three for hoppy, bitter and smooth, yeah. and one for floral. Okay. No sweet, no sour, no fruity. I get a feeling this is going to be the best one, though. Yeah, the, it, it's um, the hair it. chunks inside, and even I'm pouring really gently. Mm. Uh, it's quite hairy. Like you're saying, it's a re. You said it was re fermenting the bottle. Re fermenting the bottle, so it so can be lively. Yeah. 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 Cast, I'm not having dinner, I've been pulling the snacks now. I don't know. Mm. Get back in there, you. Mm. We're drinking beer. Mm. Right, so the smell. Oh, I can smell chocolate. Deep black with ruby reflections. Are you getting ruby reflections? All day, mate. Kind of. Maybe. No, nah, it's black, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Maybe you need to hold it up against the light. I don't know. You just drink the fucker, shall we? Smells nice. Yeah, that smells a bit slightly yeah, it's chocolatey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go in. Mm. Mm. Lovely smooth head. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's one of them earthy stouts. Mm. That, yeah. Uh, it's hard to explain. Like, like it tastes almost like mm. dirt. That's that nice that put air on your chest, is not it? That's what air on your chest. Yeah. It's, it's got nice chocolate and, and coffee combined. Mm. I always put that, that earthy kind of flavour to oh, like, nice. like you know, like the, the the last ground of the coffee that have been sitting there for a couple of yeah, days, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like really earthy. kind of like a dirty kind of coffee yeah. flavour. Um, as long as it's not overpowering. No, it's, it's not. Nice, it's, it's, so it's quite, it's really, it's, I know you get that little kick of the earthy coffee kind of, it kind of goes quite quickly. It doesn't like overpower your mouth, you know? You get a little twang of it and then it, mm. then it's, uh, then it fades away nicely. Mm. Cool. But yeah, you've got like a little toasty kind of note mm. to it, like you know, it kind of tails off. Yeah. It's nice. How many stouts were there? Was there only a couple? Mm. Mm. I mean, there's one stout and one brown beer. We'll have to keep that one to the end, wouldn't we? Yeah. Brown beer. Probably for the mm. best. Mm. We've got two people watching. That's rather boring, isn't it? Mm. We, 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 don't, we don't really get that anyway, do we really? That's what I say to my girlfriend when she's got her flies around me. Head. <laughs> 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 That's why people ain't watching. It's not um, quantity, it's quality. We got a werewolf at mm. by lunchtime. What more do you want? Exactly. That guy knows good channel when he sees it. Mm. He knows good content when he sees it. Wow. Ah. Yeah, it's definitely not overpowering you with the coffee. Yeah. But it's, uh, oh, it's got a nice, got a little... No, mm. <laughs> a little bit of bite, a little yeah. bit of bite to it, I'd say. I have to share these uh, to um, I have to share these more these beer, beer guys, and mm. then to beer 52. I haven't sent off to beer 52 for the last couple. I have to do that, yeah. Mm. If they showed it, or like, do you remember they had it in the yeah. magazine? Like, some we beer, weren't like, even we mentioned. weren't even in it, were yep. we? Bastards! We just don't. Did you did you sort out the fact that you fucking only got ten when you first got twelve that time? Um, uh, what? Yeah, they well, they were nice. Uh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. You first send the fucking video. You first send the video because you got have you got your box or something? Didn't you? Or you got proof or something? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And you said no, I've got a drunk and already. You should have shown them the video. Yeah, no, no, I never thought of that. You never should have did it. No. They um they sent me a load of points. Okay, that's anyway, fair, so enough, like fair enough. About a thousand points. Oh, actually, right. so quite okay. a lot. That's, so right. that's not too bad. That's fine. No, it's a mm. it's a genuine mistake. Yeah, I don't want to do it again. No, but well, I was quite it was quite funny. Yeah. Aston, we took us. It wasn't until we got about fucking over halfway through. We were mm. like, hold on. The six here, there's four left. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, that's not know, fucking yeah. twelve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We still love you. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's still nice. Even when you get beers that you don't, you know, you're not going to like. It's just nice to have an experience of different beers, isn't it? Yeah, since, we're you know, learning. Yeah. Yeah. How much have we learned since we started? You know, like, not, not much really. No, no, we've no, 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 learned that we yeah. like what we like and we don't like what we don't like. <laughs> but uh, we're with. Um, yeah, oh yeah, where we're Do you know yeah. you don't get decent fish and chips in uh, in Australia? You yeah. got you got to have a come back to fucking England, mate. Come back to Blighty and hang out with me and Elric for yeah. a fucking few pints. Exactly. Uh, you know? Pubs are supposed to be open on Monday. Yeah. They, for, I think it's good. I don't, I don't want to go anywhere no. until I get a jab. Yeah. At least till I get a jab. No. To be honest. You can't enjoy yourself when you're worried about nah. that shit. Can and, you? and also, like, it's you know, it's not like you can just bowl in and get a pint. It's going to be all like your strips. Yeah. I can't be bothered, really. Name and fucking address and see yeah. when I'm at the door and all that kind of stuff. Online purchases. Yeah. As long as I can go see Lisa fucking every week, yeah. that's all I care about, really. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got someone else that's. Uh, hey, Jembo. Jembo. Bottoms up. Cheers. And then bottoms down again. Yeah. Here's cheers to the beer. Oh, yeah. hail the yeah. ale. <laughs> Are you only drink bourbon? Bourbon pints? Pints of bourbon or bourbon biscuits? Do you drink pints of bourbon biscuits? Uh, where we're bourbon pints. Well, I bought... Oh, there's a full stop. So it's bourbon's pints. Yeah. Yeah. I like a bourbon biscuit. It's, it's, I like it. I don't yeah. want a bourbon biscuit. I prefer custard vegan, cream. A vegan, actually. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. That was interesting. Mm. Um, I'm just going to think I'm going to score it. Wasn't the greatest stout we've ever had, but it was. Um, nice, though. Nice. Yeah. And the, the, the chocolate. Do you find when you drink a, a, a beer, like you get a little flavour to start off with, and you think, oh, lovely bit of flavour. Mm. And then subsequent mouthfuls don't have the same amount of flavour to it. It's like they want a, a sticky toffee pudding one that I get the right. last couple of weeks. I look like I've had that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're the first mouthful. Oh yeah, I'm getting a toffee kind of you know. And then a subsequent mouthfuls is like, where did that flavour go that I've got on the I first your, mouthful? Well, I think your mouth gets used to it. Yeah. Your brain gets yeah. used to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think and it that's kind of, what it is. And rather than it, it stops being such a big jump in your in your uh, yeah. Your, the initial mouthful is always get that flavor. Arguably, the, the the most important. Yeah, that first that's true. One, yeah, because this first mouthful of this one, I was like, oh yeah, chocolate. Mm. Yeah, I can feel some chocolate there. Then afterwards, I, I didn't feel oh. the chocolate, but I just yeah. got that, like the coffee grounds kind yeah. of. Uh, luckily, not too fucking overplayed. Yeah. But I, I like s- it though. Yeah, I'm gonna give it three and a half. Mm. In that case, oh, honestly, no. By tradition, I'm a half point behind you, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I'm going for three and a half as well. I was I was really going to go half point heavy and go for four, but wow, well, you've never gone ahead of me, mate. You've never <laughs> gone ahead of me. No, I'll give it three and a half as well. I'm on you. I'm with you. I think we've got no. Is that the where are, where are all our beers anyway? I don't know, got, mate. How many killed? Four. Uh, yeah. Got four dead soldiers there. Right. Oh, there's the other ones. Ah. Ooh, chocolate beer. That don't sound right. Yeah, yeah, you've got to have some... I'm not sure oh, what yeah. beers you favour, Jambo, but a nice chocolate stout. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Young's cho- yeah, double yeah. chocolate stout. Nice. Well, we've got a oh, Belgian double. 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 Very malty, according to this. Oh, it's the same guys as the Avans. Avans, guys. yeah, from Low Avans, guys. Mm. There you go. Right, 6%. Yep. Uh, style is double. Right, not much tasting notes. Clean no, and dark either. coloured. This beer is a mouthful of Munich, special bee, and roasted barley with a layer of candy. Bitterness is kept low and comes from Belgian grown Goldings. Oh, okay. Which is a hot type. Because you've got Kent Goldings. Yeah. yeah. But they're kind of, obviously the Kent Goldings, Belgium, but grown yeah. in Belgium. So this is interesting. It's got malty of five. Yeah. Sweet and smooth of four. It's going to be quite a sweet one. Right. Uh, bitter and hoppier two each. Floral and fruity are one each. Nothing on sour. Interesting. I think that's quite cool. This might be quite interesting. Yeah. It's another dark one. We didn't realize we've got more yeah, dark ones yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. There's nothing to say on here that it is dark. That's the thing. No. You just wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe d- double is um, just near dark beer, I don't know. Yeah, well, I think mm. it is. It's like um, mm. it's like uh, the classic Belgian, because uh, there's that funny bottle, isn't there, that's double. Or yeah. I don't know how you say it. 
Like, that's uh, Duvel. You think Duvel? Duvel? I'm thinking of Duvel. Yeah, Duvel, that's that Duvel. is a style of beer. Yeah. I'm assuming it means double, but yeah. what, where did it get the double bit from? I don't know. It looks like a typical porter stout. Mm. Anything on the nose? Not a lot. No. I've got a bit of flow up my nose now, though. Right. Let's clear the biscuits out of my mouth so I can go in. Oh, yeah, it's that style, yeah. It's that style. Mm. Mm. Nice. Don't mind that. Mm. Quite, it's quite sweet. Yeah. Definitely is a sweetness. But really. usually, uh, and then Belgium's really the wheat, when they get higher in, in um, alcohol, they get a bit sweeter. But yeah. this isn't necessarily that strong. 6%. Is it? It's not that yeah, strong. No, it's not super strong. It's not super strong, but still decent. It's got like a little sweet, but not like. Maybe after a few mouthfuls, you might start cloying a bit. Yeah. But at the moment, trousers. it's just a nice little... Baggy trousers. Yeah, I don't know why it's put yeah. up, up either. <laughs> we'll see it. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that is Not nice. sure what to make of it, but it's nice. Well, it's nice. Mm. I, was, I was wondering... I was, I, was, I was worried the sweetness might get a bit sickly. But no, it's actually... Mm. It's actually calming down a bit now. I kind of got used to the little sweet Water finish to it. hops yeast. No wheat, unusual. Ah. <laughs> Roasted barley with a layer of candy. Not sure what I mean by that. Maybe that's the sweetness at yeah, the end of yeah. it. Right? I think that's of that as like a, a candy yeah. kind of... Uh, But it's not like um, it's not that thing we had earlier. It's not like it's super flavour, is it? Like no, it, but it, it's just it looks like nice. Jambo likes something with a lot of hops. I like a good Pilsner or Owl when something with a lot of hops. Well, Pilsner doesn't have really any sort of hops. Owl uh, maybe it means Raven or something with a lot of hops. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think he's. I think yeah. he's. Uh, oh, four colour commentary is here. Oh, I tried a lot of beer in my younger days. Never did develop a taste for it. More money for comics. Fair enough. Fair enough. He yeah. doesn't read comics, so... He no, I'll just drink beer instead. He can't read. I can't read. <laughs> can't read. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do like a good comic, but yeah. I also enjoy the odd beer. Yeah. The, odd, the occasional beer, you know, a bit headbanging. I've just written a book, I, I tell oh. you. I tell you. He's written a book. Yeah. He can't read, but he's written a book. I've written a book, yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Quite like that. I can't spell. <laughs> like, like I'm quite uh, dyslexic when it comes mm. to spelling. Always have been. Yeah, that's what spell checkers for. Well, I read. I read quite well. I mm. just don't read aloud very well. Yeah. <laughs> quite like this. Yeah. Nothing. No, like big taste to it, though, is there? There's no like mm. no coffee, no chocolate. It no says hops. It's, no, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's just a nice um, balance. It's got a good yeah. balance to it. It says it's very malty, but I'm not like getting the chewiness that we sometimes get. We think of maltiness. Yeah. All I'm getting is like a nice, a nice slightly malty taste, <laughs> a little bit of sweetness at the end, but that's it. Yeah, nothing like, but which makes it eminently drinkable because it's got no nasty twang, no like a thick coffee aftertaste. Mm. You know, yeah. like, I mean, you can nice. just, I mean, it's six percent, six percent. You have a few parts of this, and you doesn't like, oh. seem like it, does it? You'd be like, Ooh, you, wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't think this is strong, would no. you? Because it's quite easy to drink. I've got to get my charger. Oh keep, no! Keep, 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 them, in, keep them entertained. Yeah, keep oh them no! Tight. What do I do? No! <laughs> what we got here? We got. Um, I can't uh, read when I'm pissed either. Are we? I'm not pissed yet. Okay. I don't know how to. Plug it in over there. Where? There. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just no, there. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't look the fucking beer over then. There you go. Does this work, this Yeah, it's all plugged in. Right, the trouble is, okay, please don't turn off. Please don't turn off. Occasionally, when you, it's my laptop, it's a right pain in the ass. Occasionally, you plug it in to chuck. No, it's already on. It's already on. It's sure? Yeah. No light. Uh, okay. Hello, Ghost Hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. 
oh, let's put it on. Flavored beer is always a gamble. Sometimes the taste adds to it, but sometimes it takes away from the bitter taste of the beer, which I enjoy. Yeah, yeah? fair enough. Can be the case. <laughs> Cheers for joining us, by the way. Yeah, it's a thank new you. person we've not had before. Yeah, and he's so, sophisticated he knows and stuff. nosy stuff. He should be drinking the beer with us and telling us what we're getting what? wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's smooth the charger over there. So we're on, we're on a double at the moment, which is quite mm. nice. It's, it, it, it's, Don't spill it, the beer. Good point, Jambo. It's very easy drinking, mm. but it's actually pretty strong. <laughs> This is kind of the one, this is definitely one of the ones that you drink and you get fucking pissed about knowing it. Yeah. Well, you, well, you probably soon would, but you were like, oh yeah, it doesn't feel strong. It's a little yeah. sweetness at the end of it, but you, you'd probably like, oh, this is nice. I don't have one of these. Oh, this is nice. I don't have one of these. And it's funny, if it's only you're standing up to go to the toilet, you go, oh, fuck me. I'm feel a bit, <laughs> yeah. I feel a bit woozy now. Beer and comics, both an acquired taste. <laughs> ah, I used to love the Beano. <laughs> now honestly as a kid though I, I was massively into the beano yeah. did all the like yeah. the comments all the annual uh, or they even did um for a while i wish i kept it because it might be worth a lot of money now they, they did the early annuals yeah back, the normal comments but also they did these little uh shorts which were like um one character okay stories. all right they were so good i mm. love the beano yeah, there were so many good UK comics back in the day. Hmm. That's a good point, actually. Jambo just coined a phrase for it. I'll go back to that one. Creeper beer. Hey. Creeper beer. It's one of those beer that creeps oh, up on you. Up on you right, okay. When you're like, you, you're drinking it, you think, oh, yeah, this is, this is mm. all right. And then suddenly you realize you're drunk as a skunk. Yeah. As ghost ham. I'm drinking some myself. It's just a very common brand. Just getting tips during the weekend. Usual bitter, although I. Enjoy some softer taste. Cool. Enjoy your beer. That's the main thing. Enjoy your beer. Thanks for joining us whilst yeah. drinking. And we've got Hoosier in the early as well. All right, Hoosier. Hope you're feeling better from your soft foot. Done his legging. Oh, no. What would you do if Michael Aspel walked in and said, <laughs> Graham White Elric, this is your curry? <laughs> <laughs> you're being very random, mate. You're being yeah, very random. I'd say thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do a curry, but though. thanks a lot. We are getting people in now. Yeah. All right. That was nice. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. Um, I'd say I could easily drink four pints of that. Yeah, three, three and a half. Easily. You don't even realize it's done three, it. three and a half for me. It's pretty good. Oh. What is that? Right, then. Got another jazzy can here of a oh. wheat beer. Okay. Which? Wheat beer with orange peel and coriander. Scary stuff. Is it the same guys again? It looks like one of the ones we had before. Yeah, it's this. Yeah, guy. it's these guys, isn't it? It's gotta be. Look at yeah, these. Yeah, the funky, the funky one. The funky ones. Belgian Mike. Yeah, yeah. The Jackson Pollock can. Wheat beer. That was horrible. So we'll see. Uh, well, you know, wheat beer, the orange peel in coriander. Yeah, there's no info. So that wasn't the most horrible one, though. No, it wasn't. The no, no. was the most yeah, horrible yeah, one. Yeah, there was. Right, Blue Ridge Lecker, four point six. Mm. Tasting notes: brewed with expressive four VG yeast at a high fermentation temperature. Mm. This beer delivers an explosion of yeast-produced clove aroma. Supported by touches of coriander and fresh orange peel. Ooh, funny colour of the head. Yeah. yeah, that might be from some of the beer that was already in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's probably the dark beer yeah. oh, dregs yeah. resting on the head, yeah. Never mind. Right, this is interesting. Floral, mm. fruit, sweet, and smooth are all three. Mm. Bitter and malty are two, and hoppy is one. What um, checks were they cashing in there? Uh, it says um, clove aroma. Yeah. Touches of coriander and fresh orange peel. Okay, we'll see. We shall see. We're the experts, so. Mm -hmm. And wheat beer, wheat beer's got a different kind of twang to it, a different sort of mouthfeel to it, but the wheat beers aren't been too bad, though, have they, we've had recently? I like wheat yeah. beers anyway, so water, barley, hops, yeast. No mm -hmm. wheat, no wheat. There's no the, wheat in the wheat beer. No, it's just called wit beer. Oh, so it's not a else. wit beer then. I no. thought wit beer meant wheat beer. Yeah, what well, wit beer? It yeah, might, it must mean so something there's else. No, there's no wheat in it then. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, barley hops yeast. Yeah. Okay, so it's not wheat beer then. Okay, that's confusing. Yeah. It's wit beer, but not wheat beer. 
Funky cans are a treasure. They rarely make them anymore outside of homebrew or family brands. Yeah, we see so many funky cans. Yeah, um, it's funky cans. Like from like um, oh. craft beers around the world, isn't yeah. it? This is we're drinking from the um, beer 52 box. Yeah. You don't get that many funky cans in the UK, do you, really? Yeah, but, but no, some of the proper, breweries do, don't they? Proper beer cans. Oh, yeah, they're, they're they're certainly the new yeah, craft beer. Yeah, a lot of the craft yeah. beer want to do funky cans. Yeah. I'm, I'm more of a traditionalist myself. I like yeah. a, you know, just get, get oh, some, brown a, a can. brown can that says yeah. beer on it. Yeah, like, yeah. And a picture of an old man going, oh, yeah. fuck off. Yeah. It's my fucking pipe. Piss off. That kind of, that's the kind of beer. Well, that something I like that looks like it was brewed like 100 years ago. Yeah, like, brewed yeah. by an old fart with, a, with an axe. Samuel Smith. Yeah. Like, you know, the way that bottle looks. Yeah. Like, oh, that's proper true. beer. Like, partially, oh, what? This is what he's done his foot in, I think. Uh, Partially ruptured my plantar fascia. I, I think that's the hill. That is, but that's the because my dad's been suffering from that. Mind yeah. you, he's like eighty-three, so I'm not yeah. saying you're you know you're, you're an yeah. old fat like my dad, but he's got bad. Uh, his I think yeah, he said his plantar yeah. fascia. fascia. Yeah. It's his heel. He has to keep like rolling yeah. it, and it's giving him fucking no end of jit, poor fucker. Yeah. Anyway, right, here we go. Here's to you, Dad. <laughs> oh, this guy from is from Brazil. Oh. That tastes like a wheat beer, though. It tastes like a wheat beer, doesn't it? I think that's the clove. I think yeah. it's like a slight flavour of clove, maybe the coriander that makes it taste like a wheat beer. Maybe. It definitely tastes like a wheat beer, though. That is not unpleasant. No, it's like that first one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's nice. Got a bit of a yeah. sweet that, yeah. taste to it. It's like yeah. like a slight spicy hint to it, yeah. but nothing overbearing. Nothing mm. overbearing or makes you think, oh, it's like kind of like, mm, okay, mm, interesting. That kind of, you know. Mm. 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 It's a ghost town. We do have some funky cans here in Brazil, but they are more for sodas and regional brands. Still a good smirk when I found some. Interesting. Now, I don't, I'm not sure if I've ever had a Brazilian beer. I don't Do we not have any Brazilian beers in in, 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 our, in any of our previous beer fifty two? We had a Brazilian. I, so. I can't say I remember a Brazilian. I don't remember beer. any South American beers at all. No, but that Carnaio one. Remember that Carnaio one we had with the spicy, spicy one, spicy one oh. with chili in it. That was crazy. Wow, that was something else. That yeah. Was... Cool. Hmm. Hmm. We get lots of funky cans in these um, these ones. My yeah. favourite so far was my Cthulhu one. Oh, yeah, that Cthulhu one. I've still kept that. I kept that can. It's on my shelf with my with my I knew Cthulhu you stuff. Yeah, I knew yeah. You it was the thing. It was my favourite one that week as well. That month yeah. as well. It was cool. Oh, yeah, I quite like this. Oh. It kind of like feel like it shouldn't oh. be in, like in my normal wheelhouse of, of likes, but it's got no nasty twang. It's got yeah. a slight. Like maybe it's the coriander, maybe maybe it's just tastes like ginger. Never, it always tastes never, about ginger to me rather than yeah. what is it meant to be again? It's meant to be uh cloves and cloves, yeah. It's a cloves ginger, they've got a similar yeah. kind of warmth to them, haven't they? Oh. Mm. No, I've been um totally surprised that you you sort of taken to the wheat beers because mm. it's not something you really drink drunk before, no. but you, you 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 don't they are different. Every time a wheat beers come yeah. out, you've not no, I quite liked them. Yeah, I've not minded yeah. them at all, actually. They have got a different Ooh. kind of flavour to them, a different mouthfeel to them, but it's still it's much nicer than the, the hot, super hoppy ones. Yeah. I much prefer a wheat beer to a super hoppy. Yeah. They have got a slightly different twang to them. Yeah. This is this is what's weird, because we, we thought wheat beer, because it's called wheat beer, and but you looked at it, there's it no... Tastes like there's, a wheat beer yeah, as well. there's no wheat in it, and I'm thinking, if there's no wheat in it, it must be the clove. Yeah. The hops, because it, it. it says the... Um, a ye uh, an I explosion of yeast produced clove aroma. So it must be something to do with yeah. the yeast. The yeast that they're using must be what's providing the. They must be really full of themselves. Yeah. Say, so look at our beer that tastes like a wheat beer. Yeah. But isn't. <laughs> it isn't a wheat beer. Yeah. Um, does it actually? Do they actually put coriander or fresh orange peel in it, or is that just from the hops that's created Probably the coriander hops. and fresh orange peel? Mm. I wonder if I'm getting any fresh orange peel or oh, necessarily no. coriander, but. Yeah. Definitely a little spiciness to it. All yeah. right, uh, Jambo's off. Talk to you soon, mate. Cheers. Jambo's a good guy. 
Ooh. It does my cover slingers with me. Uh, Brazilian beer is very forgettable. Ah. It's the most basic form and bitterness, at least from the major brands here in Brazil. We do love some beer here and have a huge culture around it. And we have a huge increase in craft beer business here as well. Cool. cool. Yeah. The craft beer sort of um, explosion seems to be all around the world, isn't it? Oh. That's, you know, and it's not a bad thing. I mean, we don't always like what they're doing. Mm. But, I mean, it's good that there are people experimenting and doing new stuff. Yeah. I mean, like, we get in this beer for two because lots of we're like oh, oh what are they thinking but then we get lots of people say, oh this is nice yeah but you know you know people don't have the same taste as simple as that you know yeah. we, we can't complain about i still like the bath creek explosion. You, yeah i mean in the 90s um when i was a younger chap i, I thought like i kind of thought pub beer and it's kind of boring you know mm. like a lot of pubs would just have the same old stuff there was no like east london brewery or anything yeah, and then like some something like um, Broder started up a microbrew in one in uh, Wolverhampton was like the first I've heard of that happening, mm. and now now it's exploded. Now there's breweries everywhere around East London. You know, it's, it's crazy. We, we need to do our own brew. We keep some, we, we, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we, have, we have we have the idea. Yeah, pleasant pleasant pheasant pluckers, pheasant pluckers, pheasant pluckers brewery. When but the thing is, we don't have any money no. or any ability to brew beer. Yeah. We know nothing about brewing yeah. beer, and we don't have any yeah. of the we're, stuff that we need. Plus, we're super lazy. Yeah. <laughs> so if anyone wants to come in on this venture, if anyone wants to come in on the venture, yeah. do all the work for us. But we'll give you the name. We'll allow you to use the name, and we'll be like brand ambassadors. Yeah. We'll, do, yeah. uh, we'll basically do what the super rich. We'll do, do the taste test. We'll do around. what the rich do. Right, yeah. and, and the werewolf by lunchtime seems to be out to lunch because he's voting for Man Cave this round. He's, con he's conflating my comic cover slingers show with the oh, right. beer guy's show. All right. So go go back to sleep, werewolf by lunchtime. You're pissed, mate. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't go to sleep because we, we haven't got enough people watching as it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nice to have a couple of new people, though. We had mm. Ghost Town, and who did we have in, a little while ago when, when we did the opening? Scrolled up. No, it was when we did the opening. He's not, he's not uh, come back right. on this video, unfortunately. Uh, Never mind. Uh, question you guys prefer your beer cold or warm here in brazil we take them ice cold always ah oh, cold is always better i know there's yeah. a thing i know there's a thing because i'm an ale drinker not really a, a lager yeah. sort of drinker I don't in, like the, in the pub it's, it's it's room temperature isn't it really? yeah yeah and it tastes fine to me yeah but when you're at home you can't do put them in the fridge yeah you? of course yeah and, and when these aren't super cold are no they're they? not super yeah. cold so and you they're, don't they're want definitely not ice cold you don't want them like ales to be super cold well, they're just but brazil, brazil is a hot country though so yeah, i think yeah, i couldn't quite exactly. even see what it'd like to have a lot more chill in their cabinet you know, any in, place that's yeah. hot got yeah. lager type beers because it's just you you make them cold and it, you know Ooh, exactly. thank you very oh, much thank well for lunch time that's oh. awesome cheers dude how much is 10 australian dollars it's uh penny, penny? <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> matter it's a it's a grateful it's, and much appreciated Thingy, my Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, thingy, dude. Thingy, 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 I hear it's a similar thing to the United States. What, thingy, my mom? No, the, uh, <laughs> the dollar sort of um, uh, currency, a similar kind of uh, amount. Well, so, like, amount. 10 might be like seven quid. I yeah, think, something right. like that. Yeah, yeah, probably. Right, we've got another one of the Avans. It's a mm. Pilsner, 4.5 Pilsner. Oh, it's Avans again. Avans again, Avans, yeah. Avans. <laughs> oh, I see. We did not like your first Avans. Um, 4.5. I believe they, they did the double as well, didn't they? Did they? They did the do better. Oh, well. yeah, yeah. Like so, yeah. Um, ingredients, water, barley, hops, yeast. The usual suspects. And you no know, the info. Avans is school I say for, yeah. No info. There's a Pilsner, though, so. Yeah. 4.5. Avans, meaning progress in Flemish. An experimental oh. brewery with a fresh take on traditional styles from the north of Belgium. Oh, look, so <laughs> you've got you, you shouldn't have you've got 12 pence as well for lunchtime. And I shouldn't uh, have said anything. I know. I'm sorry. Ghost Hands is 5.56 pounds. Well, I don't mind. I'm just grateful to people who are watching <laughs> and very appreciative of anyone who wants to do something. Yeah, things. that's amazing. Thank right. You. 100% uh, malt pills now with intense taste and clean bitterness. Mm. French grown Sebastian malt, SARS hops, and very soft water are the only ingredients. Very soft water. 
Well, yeah, water is often soft. Yeah, I know you've got hard yeah, and soft yeah, yeah, tubs yeah, yeah, of water. Yeah. I'm just wondering, can you get a very soft water? Yeah, you probably can. <laughs> well, you can. How will that affect the taste? You know, um, you can actually uh, add scientists like the mad yeah. people we're talking about. You can add, actually add chemicals to make water softer. Yeah. I don't understand how water can be hard or soft. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. I thought hard and soft water only mattered like for washing machine. Yeah, I didn't think it would. Yeah, yeah they, they I didn't think it would like. Do you reckon it has any kind of flavour difference for people tasting it? It probably just makes your beer a bit better mm. if it's soft water. Right, maybe. It's got three, three in malty and bitter. Yeah. Two in hoppy and smooth. One each in sweet and floral. Highly well, isn't it? Mm, it's a very low will. Mm. <clears throat> Quite often with those ones, you find that they're like not got shit loads of flavour yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But like just like mildly, mildly, yeah. mildly interesting. Yeah. Without any uh, shabbat, you know. Could be a purification. Could be process, a purification yeah. process. What was he referring to? Probably when I was talking about the soft water, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could be, yeah. I, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Mm. I know you some beers use purified water. Some vodkas do as well. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should use purified vodka. Mm. A man came to my house yesterday and gave me four hundred dollars for some of my miscellaneous comics. That's cool. That's really cool. And now you're going to spend all them on like a, a couple of big keys. That's a no smell. It's so pale, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's very pale, isn't it? You're right. It's not a yeah. Uh, tiny, tiny rum. If you read, really, yeah. But nothing to write home about. Very uh, lager sort. Yeah, so I think that, that yeah. like I said, the wheel was so low. I think mean, it's mm. going to be like hardly any taste, just a bit we'll wet. See. We'll mm. see. What was the strength all about? Six uh, percent. No, four point five. Oh, that's something else, isn't it? What are we having? It's a Belgian pills, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Reading the wrong bloody cat. Um. 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 It doesn't really taste like taste no. a, a, a lager, does it? Mm. It's, it? It's actually quite bitter, isn't it? Quite hoppy, sort of bitter. A little tiny. Actually, like the no. hop is low in it, but like, everything's low on that wheel. But yeah, yeah, that after it's just, Yeah, it is a bit of an aftertaste, yeah. isn't it? It's not all that. No, really. Yeah. It's like there's no. Much taste to it. Yeah. Well, hardly any it's taste. Right. It's just yeah. like, kind of like a little, little twang, like he wags yeah. his tail or something like that. It's like a tiny little mm. tail wag of a twang. Tail wag of a tail. Yeah, but not not necessarily unpleasant. But mm. it's almost like a non-drink. Mm. It's like it's it's not doing anything. That's I've been. I've seen this as being like a drink on a hot summer's day when all you want to do is get some wetness in your mouth. Hang on, what was the last beer we had? The one before this one? Yeah. I don't bloody remember. Yeah. You don't need to remember the wheat beer, wasn't it? Because we got the wheat beer. We didn't beer. score it, did we? Did we not score it? No, I don't think we did. Oh, come on, guys. You should have told um, us we haven't scored it. I liked it, actually. Uh, definitely be. between a three and three and a half. Yeah. Me. I was, yeah, I'll say the same because I can't yeah. remember. It was nearly two minutes ago. Yeah. It was nearly two minutes ago. I don't really remember it now, do you? Well, with, our, with our minds and alcohol. Exactly. It's terrible. And, uh, you know what? I have a real problem. This, oh, this oh, ghost yeah. town is like full of like, you know, clever kind of thoughts. Yeah, this is the sort of people yeah. we want on our show. <laughs> no, we want anyone on our yeah, show. Yeah, anyone. We're not, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. yeah. Could be the purified water that cancels some of the bitterness. So the yeah. super soft water maybe takes off some of the bitter. Oh. A non-drink, you mean food? <laughs> you know what I have a memory-wise I have a problem with, like, the last sort of, like, maybe year, few years, is, mm. you know when you have a week or a weekend, you're going to work or something like that, and you're like, oh, how was your weekend? I can never, I can never <laughs> remember what I've done. <laughs> I've got a terrible memory of what I've done in the week. That's not that's not worrying at all, Eric. <laughs> like, uh, I did some stuff. Yeah. Uh, and it always what, takes me a little while to remember what I've done. Every week I forget at least one stream that I'm supposed to be doing. Like today, I completely forgot we were doing this stream. It wasn't until you come down. I'm like, I've done my bloody um, 
I did my cover in the stream. I did my yeah. interview stream. And you come down and you, you was like, you like look at he's at the door like he's at the door going, eh, and I was like, what? What's he want? What, what's going on? What have I missed? You, you we doing that beer tonight? And I was like, oh yeah, fucking beer. Oh man, I forgot all about it. <laughs> and he hasn't talked about it about two hours. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I've done that before, but especially the comic comic memories. I'm always forgetting the comic memory streams. Mm. And like literally, I've been talking to this guy on Instagram. The irony there. Oh, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I forget comic memories. Anything with memories in it, I forget. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Since the lockdown, the only different thing that happens is he takes a nap during the day, during the weekend. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Fingers crossed we'll all have a bit more freedom soon. I miss all the pizza comments. Yeah. Like, what, what was that? What yeah, stop talking about pizzas. It would make me feel, you yeah. know, you just got he spoke oh, so low some of his, load of his comics, and I said, you're going to spend that money that you got from on uh, nah, another pizza. comics. And this is now I'm going to buy 27 nah, pizza. pizzas. Yeah, yeah. Ma night. Making me feel like I need a pizza now. Yeah. Mm. Nice to meet you, pizza. I had some, um, <laughs> well, I had some um, vegan um, cheesy garlic bread. Oh, yeah, that's right. The cheese. Cheesy it's bread. Really nice. Cheesy, really cheesy bread. Cheesy bread. It was good. Mm. I still hold with what I said. <laughs> It's kind of a non-drink. Yeah, it's, it's like right. it's like it's so ineffectual, so kind of like um nothing tasting. Non abusive. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like nothing tasting. Isn't it's it? one of those beers though that's actually I think actually slightly improved the more I drink it. Which, yeah. yeah, like I I'm not getting the, the twang as much as I was no, before. No, I'm not really getting any twang at yeah. all. But it's, to me it's like I mean on a really hot day, nice hot day, have it nice and cold, you know, and it's just like it's an improvement on water. It's yeah. like water that gets you drunk. I'm going to yeah. um, go straight down the line three. and really surprise you with a three. Yeah, <laughs> a typical Elric three. Well, I'm going to go over to mm. nothing offensive about it. But again, yeah. I think after, like, I'll be like, ah, oh, this is boring. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like a boring yeah. drink because there's nothing to it. I'll be like, I'll be drinking. I mean, I'd, if I was, if it was a hot day and it was cold, it'd be like, yeah, this is cool. It's, it's like water that's getting me slightly drunk. Yeah. And then after that, I'd be like, well, no, I'm kind of a bit bored now of like Ooh. not getting any kind of flavors in my mouth, you know? Have you had the Linda McCartney sausage roll? Oh, wait, I love them. I've, mm. I've, I've had the Linda McCartney sausages, which I really like. The funny thing with them is that the vegan sausage has moved on a lot now and, and they taste more like meat sausages. <laughs> but I still like the Linda McCartney sausage style. I really right. like but I'm not like the sausage roll, no. <laughs> I don't know why, I, I found it funny you saying the, the, the vegan sausage has moved on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's moved a, on. So it's, it's, those sausages are so last decade, man. Yeah. you got to get, with the, get down with the new vegan sausage. <laughs> well, I'll I, I tell you what, um, as far as like, copying like meat i mean sausage has got it down pretty well i mean mm. there, there's some um vegan sausages that even have, have the skin like yeah. you know, uh, but i still really like the linda mccartney ones maybe we're gonna get them um meat uh, i'm not at the sausage rolls linda McCartney. laboratory grown meat once we get laboratory grown meat you'll be eating it oh god yeah mm. it's, just, it's, just, it's all about animals without, without, anyone, nothing, without anything being hurt i still love meat yeah, you know, give me meat. Yeah, it's cruelty free. I'll fucking eat it all day. Yeah, yeah. That that'll happen at some point because it has to. Probably. <laughs> it has to for the sake of the planet. We on the last one. Yeah. Okay, this is the last one then. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Bloody tragedy. Man, just getting, just getting started. Just getting a taste for it. Mm. So you got the Tongolo. Brown. Oh, see, I like that bottle. That bottle is awesome. It's quite a nice bottle. Tongolo. Tongolo. Uh, Tongolo. Tongolo. They drink it genuine, in the Congo. Genuine Belgian Abbey beer. Oh. I know. Uh, 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 6.5. I've got some uh, stuff to say here, I think. Genuine Abbey beer. Uh, Refermented in the bottle again. Right. With refined touches of vanilla. Yeah, I'm burping a lot. So am I. The aftertaste surprises with 
the subtle bitterness of dark chocolate. Oh, what else we got? Uh, that's it. All yours. Have you had the Burger King plant burger? No, I've had the KFC one. That was nice. Uh, burger King do a plant burger. I wonder. Hmm. Is, is that from um, where's Ghost Hand from? Uh, Brazil. Brazil. I don't know if they're going there. They might have called something different here, might they? Yeah, it? Uh, or they might it's not It's called Veggie it. Burger. Yeah. Where is a Burger King in the UK, though? Well, there's there one there in Stratford. Are... Oh, right. And there's one in Leighton. Is there? You know, you know the Leighton complex. Well, that's a Burger where King. Where is, and that's okay. Burger King, yeah. They are still around. I don't, <coughs> I don't do fast food burgers. Nah. I used to, but, like... I hate the like, Always hate oh, them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty crappy, really. Yeah, I was just trying to, the, the fries are King, horrible. I, I preferred the, the Burger King because it was more flame grill, but even yeah, like, yeah, that's, that's what I remember like. But, more. but even when you compare that to a proper burger, mm. like like a, a real gourmet type yeah. burger, it's, it's just crap, really. Or just when you eat yourself at home. But like the Whopper was pretty awesome, though. Yeah. Right. Tongalo Brun from Brewridge Hacht from Outer Hacht. Trying to, try to, try to get spit all over my German. beard. Uh, Belgium, not German. Oh, yeah. I showed Dee your funky unboxing last night. She cracked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, did a, I did a comic for uh, the um, I'm glad she did, man. Right then. Tasting notes. The initial sweet aroma of vanilla gives way to rich, hoppy notes, finishing with the delicate bitterness of dark chocolate. Just like wine, Tonglo's flavours will continue to evolve in the bottle and become yeah. even more rounded over time. Oh, come on. So try a bottle now and save some for later to discover your perfect bottle of Tongalo. No. No, we do get all. Yeah. It would be nice to have a crate or something. Yeah. Uh, Brüderich Hacht, <laughs> a true Belgian family-run brewery now led by the fourth generation. Tongalo is bottle-conditioned, an incredibly meticulous process that reveals the true craftsmanship of brewing, a technique Tongalo's master brewers have perfected over many, many years. Yeast is added just before Tongalo is bottled. It is then stored for conditioning for at least two weeks at 22 degrees Celsius. After two weeks, Tongalo's master brewers taste the beer as matured, rich and complex flavours, and only then the beer is approved for sale. Wow. Taste notes as well. Hell yeah. Have you, have you done the taste notes? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of info there. Yeah. It's the wheel, sir. Mm. It's four on fruit. That's interesting. Oh, four okay. on smooth. That's weird for a fruity brown. Yeah. Only like two on floral, two on bitter, two on hoppy, and only one each for malty and sweet. Right. This is crazy. This is yeah. like it's like it seems like it's no breaking the rules. Yeah. So it's like it's breaking the rules of a dark beer. We'll see. Say that again, says Werewolf. Like, I'm not sure what he's saying to say again, but um, mm. I don't know what he's saying to say again. But right, beers that change the taste as you go are a legit art. Leg legit art. These things take flavouring, brewing, and chemical balance to a whole new level. He's the man, this guy, mm, isn't he? He knows his stuff. Yeah. But right, any smell? Yes. Uh, one last chink. Oh, yeah. Bottoms up. Yeah. Oh, no smell. Not really. Okay. okay. Let's try this. <coughs> it's quite chewy. It's got that. It's very cloyy, isn't it? Isn't it? I can't make up my mind. Yeah. I see what you mean about the flavour. Definitely fruit, not yeah. a flavour you'd expect. Yeah. From it doesn't look like it doesn't taste like a, a dark. Like it says, like, even the wheel. Out. Yeah. Even the wheel saying fruity and smooth. Yeah. I can see where they're getting at. I wouldn't say it's fruity. It's not like super that, fruity, but, but I, I can tell. Yeah. Malty. Yeah. But not overly fruity. Not like the, the ones that we think like taste like fruit fucking mm. uh, juices, you know? And it's very um, cloying, isn't it? Like, uh, it, it's like, like you, what you say, chewy. It's got like, it, it kind of oily in the mouth. Mm. Weird. Yeah. Quite fresh, yeah. Flesh, fr fresh, fresh, quite fresh flavored. 
Yeah, quite weird. I quite mm. like it though. Yeah. It still, it still goes down easy. Yeah, it goes down easy enough. But it's like, you're, you're, it feels like an enigma. Like you look the look of it and the taste of it don't match up. Yeah. It's like it's one you drink a bit and you like look at it. Like a black IPA. Yeah, something. you look at it again and you go, what the fuck? What am I drinking here? <laughs> Quite weird. It's definitely not more weird, I think. I don't know. It's quite fizzy, actually. Yeah. Uh, which is quite surprising for a dark It does feel well. like it's got a little bit of fizz. It's interesting. It's different. Yeah. So it's totally not what I'd expect from the, from the it's look not of that it. Hum it's not humongously flav flavorful, no. is it? But There's no yeah. super flavors going on. Mm. But there's no horrible twang either. But like you say, it feels a little bit fizzy than yeah, what you expect. Yeah, very fizzy for a um, dark beer, for sure. Mm. I say it definitely doesn't taste like a your, your mm. typical dark beer. It doesn't taste like your typical porters or stouts mm. or anything. But I say it's just a it's just a brown beer, isn't it? So I don't mind it at all. Yeah, but it's sort of like confusing, confusing yeah. beer. Hmm. It's really difficult to truly dislike. Yeah, put it out. Mm. <clears throat> Sometimes I do not dislike a beer, but it's just like what you what you what you favour, you know. It's really difficult to truly mm. dislike a beer, especially ones that take uh, risks, take risks mm. and go the different route. After all, alcohol is an acquired taste. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, yeah, I always respect people that do something like that. Something that's a bit different. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, there's obviously different people got different things that they favour across the board, haven't they? Yeah. So, like, I, I got, like, um, it was really nice. Um, uh, for Easter holiday, my boss actually got everyone beers, mm. like, um, just a couple of beers, and it was like a couple of Budweiser's. And it's like, it was really nice. But, like, when I was drinking the buzz, I was thinking, Jesus Christ, I must have just drinking water. Yeah. Honestly, like, <laughs> yeah. like, it was all right, but it yeah. was like, it's like nothing there. It's so yeah. funny. Now I've got so used to sort of these sort of beers. It's yeah. Like... This is a funny one. This is all right. But I'm not sure how, um, what kind of longevity of wanting to drink it or I would have. It's not what I feel to myself. I know what you mean. It's like, yeah. It's kind of lacking in like any strong flavors. Maybe I'll try something else. Yeah. It's not unpleasant. No. But just not. Got an awful lot of character. Well, no, it's more like weird. There's that thing of like it doesn't taste like you think it should do from the look of it. Yeah, well. I've got to say that I've been I've been really pleased with this mm. this month. I think it's been a really interesting mm. set of beers, isn't mm. it? I, I I mean I I got to admit I think the last sort of two three months have been a little bit uh, like that. You know, it's sort of like you knew what you were going to get. It was either some nice stouts or yeah. some horrible IPAs. It was basically that, wasn't it? You know, but this kept, is a bit more interesting. I could get an order blinking uh, look stats as well. You I know, this is the first fucking yeah. beer for the two I've drunk all the beers for ages. <laughs> Good old Belgian. <laughs> mm. I think. Free. Yeah. Free. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. I dabbled with maybe giving it 2.5. In my head, I was thinking, maybe, maybe I'll get a little bit bored and I'll think, oh, I want to try to see if there's anything else to some Very more flavour. Yeah. Um, there's nothing, nothing negative about it, actually. Nothing negative about it. Maybe a little bit on the, shit. maybe a little bit on the dull side. Could have a bit more pizzazz. But, but it's 6.5. A lot of these beers don't <laughs> taste as strong as I thought they would. No. Because I'm posh, South, South London, London, what beer yeah, do you yeah. think would go best? The prawn cocktail, cocktail crisps. Crisps. <laughs> Foster's, mate. Foster's, Foster's, probably. Yeah. Well, like South London has um, Shepherd Neem. Mm. Uh, that's like a Kent South London brew, which is apparently the oldest brewery in Britain. Uh, they do some nice beers. Castle Main 4X, mate. That's what you need. 
don't see that much anymore. No. Oh man, that was good. I feel quite bloated. Actually, mm. with all the snaps. Hmm. Wow. Right. Now to rank what we do now, we rank our beers. From the, we try um, and remember what we drunk. Yeah. Which is um, often hard, especially with a 12 box. Mm. So we go for our three worst and then our three best. Yeah. You going first? Um, go on, then you go first. I wasn't planning it. I was just getting them together for us to. Um, I hope we're going to be that much different. No. But there wasn't really any kind of like really horrible shit, was there, this week? And I've kind of lost track of what we had. This one, I think we both yeah. universally decided it was cack. Yeah, it wasn't great. Mm. I can't remember why. It wasn't super, super. It had a horrible little twanginess all the way through, didn't it? Yeah. Like a prolonged, twangy kind of like, yeah, this can get lost. You know, this can fall off the back of a lorry and we wouldn't oh, care. That's the dark one. Right. Um, any soft beer goes really good with food, so I feel like high carbonated foods like bread, sticks, potatoes, oh, whatever, pizza and pasta that's all really mixes beer. some soft beer. Okay, oh, this one. apparently, werewolf balance has got now. four steps. I'm not totally sure why he's got four steps, four, but he's got oh. four steps. Um, god, you go for your bottom three. Oh my god, I can't even remember, man. Possibly that one because I can't remember much about it now. It's the pills now. Yeah, but what was that like? It wasn't. It was nothing. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like. Uh, I just think. It, I think it's kind of hard to get a bottom three this week actually because none mm. of them were really, really horrible, were they? Nah. Yeah. Well, this one, I like this one. I kind of liked yeah. all of these actually. Um, Belgium IPA. What was that one like? Probably that one then. I, I, I yeah. don't. I don't remember. Yeah. I'm gonna go with those for my bottom three, although I can't um figuratively remember what they were like and i this one was the only one that i'd like yeah i, I wouldn't necessarily drink another one of those yeah. if i knew if i had a good memory and i went into a pub and i remembered all the beers i'd ever drunk and there was these three on the bar i wouldn't drink that one but i might have another one of those two yeah well if you catch my drift. let's do my bottom three as these as well Are you the same one yeah yeah but you actually remember them better than me yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah. um because these are good and mm. these are all right. Um, yeah. But I remember, yeah, we didn't, I didn't particularly like that one. No. Um, the Pilsen wasn't bad. Yeah, was right. just and like, the other one was slightly better. Yeah, the other yeah, he was, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, so they're my bottom three. Yeah. And um, now it, the top three is going to be quite yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, top three. I mean, because like, this one was the yeah. first one we had. It had like, a little spiciness. Yeah. And there was another one that had a little spicy. Was it this one? The Dubel, no, the Dubel, yeah. no, no, Dubel. The, the wheat beer, no, the wheat beer, yeah, yeah the orange peel coriander, and had yeah. the the chai, the um, is it chai? Not chives, um, cloves, cloves, yeah, yeah, and that was quite nice. Yes. These are kind of like uh, these are kind of like similar in like um, not boring, not super like tasteful, but like oh, little mm. little, uh, how would you even describe that? Yeah, little. <laughs> if I keep on keep on saying it, I'm like, yeah. I might actually come across as sensible. Um, so that was the start, and that was well. The, these, uh, yeah, right? These, weird. these two have got to go in my top because the the, yeah. the double oil was nice. The double was nice. The stout, yeah, decent. More my kind of thing. Mm. But then, then they weren't head and shoulders above the others. But they were like ones that I could like quite happily. If these were the yeah. other ones that were in the pub, I could quite happily drink all night. Well, then this one was the other dark one, the brown. Yeah. But it was a bit odd, and I yeah. think I might actually. Put the wheat beer, the one yeah. with the wheat beer. I think, not, wow. I think that might be elevated. I mean, yeah. that one wasn't bad, but yeah. a little bit. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. But I think this one had a little bit more flavour, yeah. a little bit more sort of clovey spicy. From what yeah. I, maybe it was because I'm because it's more recently that I drunk. Yeah, it, but maybe. Well, there, there, your top. Yeah, I've got to go top with these three. for my top three. What's your best? What's your favourite? Um, right? Possibly the double, actually. Yeah, I think so. But man, you know, I'm like, I don't really remember what I've drunk yeah. like five minutes ago. <laughs> right, so. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it may have been a double L. I think mine's going to be uh, slightly different. So, yeah. Um, de definitely that one. A um, little bit low. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, I'm going to go. Um, hmm. Yeah, that was good. 
These two are my medium ones. So the, the wheat beer, that wasn't wheat beer. It's pretty no. strange and nice. And that was uh, pretty nice, if a bit unusual. Yeah. But my, my, my favourite, um, I would say, is um, the, the double, Dubain. I thought it was really nice. I actually really liked the first wheat right. beer. I thought that was really nice, the first wheat one. Well, the wheat is a bomb. Um, yeah, but it was like, it tastes like wheat beer. I'm sure there's wheat in it. Uh, and oh, my, no. my favourite, as usual, is the stout. Right. The earthy sort of stout. It was, it was nice. So there, um, there you go. Now that steam one was clove and cinnamon. Mm. A little clo clove and cinnamon going on. There's what, what the little... Um, oh, it's got the tiny... Yeah, bit. the little kind of like spicy, yeah. like warm note to it. Lovely. Mm. So that was cool. Yeah. Oh. So another another bottle of another box of beer has been broken mm. and consumed. Thank you very much for everyone who actually tuned in. I don't know what I was going to say then. I just yeah. put my hand out. I'm going to say so. Reading the more smart I what comments I was say. by uh, yeah. Ghost Hand. Cheers for joining us. No, actually, we've got we've got a play out. We've got a play out. We have. Come back uh, next month. Yeah. We'll be drinking some more beers. And yeah. Cheers, everyone. I've got a feeling my 12 box might be coming. So you think we're a bit pissed now? Yeah, wait to wait for the 12 box. Wait for the 12 box. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can never remember what the fuck we drank in that one. No, as long as it is 12 and not 10 like it was last oh, time. Oh, God, yeah. Hey, thanks for coming in, guys. Yeah. Much love. And let's just play out with our beer is best. Beer is best. All right, that was the wrong one. I was just testing Pretty you. Pretty cool, though. I was testing you guys. This is yeah. the one we play out with. Thanks for coming on. Beer is best. Beer is best. It makes you fit, it makes you strong. Puts more muscle in your dong bong pong. Beer makes bonny Britain. Beer has stood the test. What did poor old Adam say to Eve? Beer is best.